Hey, welcome back to the Todd and Deborah show because we're assuming you watched episode one. Yeah. Episode two. It's our second. We're, we're so, um, uh, what's Popular, the word? have so many followers, so oh. much demand. <laughs> I was going to say, we're so experienced now, oh. but all of that too. You know what? All kidding aside, they're going to laugh at this. We have had, last time we looked, almost 200 views of our episode one, and that probably isn't a lot in YouTube land. I get that. But for us, it was like, what? 200 people actually watched our little show. We are so indebted and, and just really, um, blown away by that. Thank and some you. people even subscribed and we didn't know what that meant or how to do that. <laughs> and now we do. We do. My brother asked me, how do I subscribe? And we had said, we hope you will subscribe, but we didn't quite know exactly the logistics. And I actually did screenshots of how to do that on a PC and on a phone, an Android phone anyway. And I'll post those on our website, which is toddanddebra.com. And I know he's going to ask me, can I scroll that across the bottom? We'll see if I can learn to... Sports scores. And he wants me to put sports scores yes. really across the bottom. So, of course, I'll do that. Right now, though, we're going to talk about something we promised. And it turns out we heard from a lot of you that you have the same problem where over the years you've saved, or not over the years, this was just back during the decade of the 80s or 90s yeah. or both. When you went out and rented your movies. and, and uh, Oh, VHS cassettes yeah, were yeah. for movies, too. Blockbuster and things. But, but a lot of people... Bought VHS cameras yeah. or camcorders, I think we called them, and they were gigantic. And you put these tapes in them, and then you went to your kids, you know, play or soccer game or whatever, and took footage. And Stood in the middle of the aisle. Yeah. Taking pictures. And said to the director, "Could Johnny come out again? I missed his entrance." So it, you know, not that kids we ever did never that. embarrass the kids. Never, no. Ever, ever. But now you've got maybe 500, maybe 1,000 of these video cassettes. So what are you going to do with them? You don't want to hang on to them, really, because if you're downsizing, as we recently did, and we're learning a whole lot about what stuff you don't want to hang on to when you've got a smaller space for living, digitize them. But how? That's what we wondered. We Googled um, how you convert your VCR, VHS tapes to uh, digital. Mm -hmm. And you come up with a whole bunch of different vendors. There's all kinds there. So you uh, look at them all and figure out which one's best for you. Um, we picked this one. Yep. We like to look at the reviews. This one had tons of reviews, like over a thousand, and they were close to five stars. Yeah. And this one happens to be called Elgato Video Capture. And it also is uh, compatible with both, <laughs> look how directionally yeah. challenged we are, with uh, uh, Windows as well as Mac. Um, so make sure that, and also that, that it's, it's works uh, the operating, on your operating system. system, whether it's 10 or, or whatever you've got in your computer XP or whatever the case is. Exactly. But it's a real simple product. That's what we liked about it. Is yeah. Here, this is it. This is what it looks like. Do you want to show it's them how just, it plugs into the back well, of the this is, this is it. This is the extent of it. It comes with all the cables that you need. Basically, yeah, where it says you, you, oh, oh, there you oh go. wait a minute. This is Vanna White time for you me. You connect right to the back of the computer. You're red, white, and yellow. Yeah. You then, it goes into the capture machine. Right because it's got the red, yellow, red, and white, white and again. again, which is real simple. Corresponding color is easy for somebody like me. Unless you're colorblind, then it's not easy. Well, that could be a challenge. Um, comes out as a USB, which then goes into your computer. Boom. Um, there's a software that you download, real simple to do. The instructions are easy. Uh, once you have that all done, you get your VCR, get that going, turn that on, and basically it plays the VCR tape onto your computer. It comes up on your screen, like it looks like a television actually, and it's got a few buttons and it tells you exactly where you are in the process. It is real time though. You do have to watch or run the whole tape to be able to bring it over. You, you can't skip through and those kind of things. But after it downloads, and it downloads as an MP4 video, you open that up in your video uh, software, which I use Windows Movie Maker because it is very simple, just like me, so we're a match. Use whatever you're comfortable with, or you know, uh, you can find something probably that came with your computer. But once you open it, then you can skip through and discover things like, whoa, I thought I had turned the camcorder off, but no, I took 20 minutes of video looking at the ground while we heard all the other soccer moms going, go green, go green, right? Yeah, you can turn this volume down. You don't have to listen to the go green. And that probably minutes, was not me so. saying that. It was clearly other moms doing that. Which is nice because then basically, you bring over your video, you've got it, you can edit it to get rid of the parts that you don't really want, and, and the, the final product that you put up is exactly the, the footage that you wanted to keep. And it's real, like you said, again, it was simple and it was not real difficult to use. We were able to figure it out. You upload it to YouTube, you send out invitations to the people that you want to see it. If, if, if you're like us and want to keep your YouTube channel private, then just your kids or family or friends, whatever, uh, end up with the link and they can watch it, but it's not out there for the public. Um, also, in in case you're like us, 
-hmm. I say us, even though it was only me. And you saved thousands, maybe millions. Who we all do counting? That, don't we? Yeah, audio cassettes. They make similar things for audio cassettes. So with this little gizmo, which I got a few years ago, this I think to you be, gave it to me for my birthday one year. That's what it was, because he's the one that I've saved. I've got all the all billions, the audio tapes. Yes. Yeah, of audio yeah. cassettes. I don't know why he saved those. Um, but this one is a few years old, but I'm sure there's other wonderful ones. The brand here is Honest Tech. Same thing. You play it in there. Your USB cable brings it into your computer. You convert it to MP3 and then you can upload it to your Google Drive folder because I hope you're not paying. You're not paying, are you, for a cloud service because we'll talk about that in another Todd and Deborah show. You can Google Drive has tons of free storage before they start charging and it's really easy to downsize in your new small dwelling and take care of things like this. And you can throw away all the videotapes and all the audio tapes. Yay! Hey. And then your kids will say, oh, VHS tapes just came back in style. You saved ours, right? Yeah. We're One sure. last thing. If you saved your kids, um, <laughs> what are these called again? Floppy, floppy disks. disks. Yeah. Then you can digitize those as well. Well, actually, those are diskettes. Those are three and a half inch diskettes. They're not. Wow. Fortunately, she doesn't have five inch floppies, so we're okay. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm glad I don't have five inch floppies. It doesn't sound good. But uh, these are diskettes, then, like rockets or something. Yeah. So, you know, seriously, I found a little gizmo, which we'll have to show on some time that you can put those in and do the same thing we're talking about. We are going kind of fast just so we won't go on forever, but email us with questions and. Pfft, we may answer or we may say, we don't know. Well, right? and, and, and realize, too, that what we found is that if you do a little research, you'll find that there's a lot of easy methods and simple things out there that you can use that, that don't make these kind of tasks not as daunting as they may seem. I think that's the main point is that being geezers, which is an affectionate term we use for folks our age, um, we sometimes are intimidated by a lot of software and a lot of, you know, electronic things. So uh, if we can do geezers it, unite. Can do it. Exactly. If we can. Just what he said. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And toddanddebra.com is our website. Toddanddebra at gmail.com is our email address. Stay in touch. See you bye next bye. time.